Okay, Mike Layton here. I'm in Clearfield I'm on a cul-de-sac and uh, It's a nice little community here I'm at a house that uh, some would describe as a fixer-upper and Being a realtor we get requests for this kind of a home quite frequently You've probably maybe thought about it yourself uh, getting into the real estate business. I know a lot of people uh, think that it's a great idea to uh, find a, a foreclosed home or a fixer-upper where they could make a lot of money and uh, I'm gonna tell you this is a, a fixer-upper and uh, I'll just make a caution here that uh, uh, viewer discretion is advised because this place is really kind of nasty and fed uh, but I've seen worse in fact this house was much worse uh, about a month ago before uh, they had somebody come in and spend about a week cleaning it up and uh, it's it's still not clean but at least you don't have to climb over mountains and mountains of trash and junk so I'm giving you a little view of the outside you know the exterior isn't too bad um, not too bad at all that over there by the way is uh, Boeing I think Weber State's Clearfield branch is over here in this neighborhood not far from this place so I'm gonna go inside. I don't think I'm gonna talk a lot. I'm just gonna let the uh, video speak for itself. Um, it, there's kind of a bad smell inside here. It really, uh, see, how could you describe it? Maybe take a, uh, a barn, the zoo, uh, the dump, and a uh, dog kennel, mix all those smells together, add water, set it in the sun for several days, keep it moist, and uh, you'll get roughly the approximation of the smell in there. So. I just soon not talk while I'm in there. I'm going to make it brief and show you the place. So let's take a look. And uh, if you're lucky, you might see a couple of the residents. There's several mice living in here as well.